Hiya, this is a second vid for the second lesson. Um, so let's have a look at this then. So it says, the train stops at two stations, P and Q, which are two kilometres apart. It accelerates uniformly from rest from P at one metre per second for 15 seconds. So hopefully, if I'm going from rest, I'm going from zero. Um, and if I'm going up by one metre per second, for 15 seconds, I'm up to 15 meters per second. So if I take the start point P down here, so I've got a nice straight line going up to 15 there, and 15 there. So that's my velocity in meters per second, and this is time in seconds. But my start point there, I'm just saying it's P, so just so I know. It maintains a constant speed, so that's a flat line, for a time before decelerating. Right, so what have we got then? So it's got a flat line, and the width for that is t, which means in terms of a time, that's t plus 15. It then decelerates uniformly to rest with a deceleration of half a metre a second. So it drops down from 15 meters per second down to zero meters per second, but it drops by a half a meter per second squared. So it drops down by a half every second. So it kind of implies it's going to take 30 seconds to stop. So if it takes 30 seconds to stop, that's T plus 45. Right then. It tells you that the stations are two kilometres apart, so that's where Q is now. Be really careful, because that's the area underneath the graph. So the area on the graph, remember, on a velocity time graph, speed time graph is the distance travelled the displacement. <clears throat> but I've got to be careful, because my units are in metres, so I've got to be careful with my units. So I've got 2,000 metres. So the whole area of this, of that trapezium, represents 2,000 metres there. Right, so let's use that then. So let's have a look at my trapezium then. So I know that 2,000 metres, oops, changing colour, is the area of a trapezium, so it's half of the average of the parallel sides, T plus T plus 45 multiplied by the perpendicular height. If I just take that, um, oh, I'm not going to calculate it. I have to use the calculator on there. Hang on. I'm going to multiply through by the 2, divide by the 15. If I do that, it'll give me about, what's I think about this? Uh, so it's going to be 4,000 over 15, divide through by 5 is 800 over 3. And that'll be 2t plus 45. So I've, I've multiplied through by the 2 and divided by the 15 to get that. Right, so if I take the 45 and a half it, it gives me roughly 110.8. For T, if that's right. I'm just using the completed pack, so I've got the calculator on it. Let's have a double check and make sure that's right. Uh, calc. Right, ready? So 800 over 3 minus 45 divided by 2. Uh, that's today, what's that today then? There you go, 110.8 there. So we're looking roughly 111 seconds for that. So 111 seconds for T. Right then. So I'm looking at the next bit. Have I answered that question completely? Yeah. Uh, oh no, I haven't. Look at that. T plus 45. Oh no, 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 that's right, it's T, sure be. That's right, it's all fine. Right, next one is one few time ago. That's the same idea. I'll reveal it so you can use it to help you. And I think that's the end of that one then. Uh...